Hello guys, welcome to Solving Solutions, your number one channel where you get solutions to all your solving problems. It's nice having you in class again today. How have you been? We are going to have a quick one today. We will show you how you can use um, Excel to, to calculate area by using your coordinates, right? Good. So um, it's actually called um, the cross coordinate method, or maybe the scissors method, or maybe depending on how it has been exposed to you right good so it's very simple you know normally when you have your coordinates maybe if they are 10 points 20 points 50 points 4 points you know no matter the number of points when you have them you must repeat the coordinate of the first point right good so that now forms the loop or that now forms the closed traverse right good so that's why we have repeated the coordinate of point one here so when you written the coordinates of all your points, you repeat the first point, and that's this. The next thing is that you know, as it is being stated, scissors method. That means this multiplied by this, this one multiplied by this. So like it is going from the top to the bottom, or you know, like from um, your nothings to your eastings, from your nothings to your eastings, from your nothings to your eastings. They are not on the same line. They go from the top nothings to the eastings below it on the opposite side, right? So when you have what your b2 has so let's say we're having cell b2 that's what we call them um, we have it that's how we have it on excel right so this cell b2 will now multiply what cell c3 you now see that instead of having it as b2 b2 you're now having that b b2 what c3 so that's just the basics nothing more nothing less so we have equal to somewhere around there then we start our multiplication which is what this cell multiplied by what this cell you now see the cross right good you now see the cross so when we hit enter the product is already there the reason why you see it like this is because the numbers are very large so it has been depicted in exponential right good so let's try to auto fill by the time we use this um, auto fill to drag it down we'll now see the values of the rest of them being automatically filled and if we click on it to open the formula you can see the cross right good you can see the cross let's also open this you can see the cross so we have what b6 sorry b5 multiplied by c6 so b5 is here c6 is here is that good good so now let's close that we come down to the next area these are the partial areas so the same approach we have done so it will be equal to this particular cell which represents what your first is in multiplied by this other cell which represents what your second node in right good so we click on enter then we hit enter we have to what, drag down now the reason why we don't want to bring it down here is that it will give us zero because this last cell will give us zero. the reason why it will give us zero is because of there is an empty cell that it is going to multiply with right good so it's actually not needed because the cross does not have any um, other cell to link with on this other part of your nothing column right good so there's no need for us to have this particular for us to have this particular product so this is the first step and we are almost done the next thing is for us to have the areas of what our the the sum of our partial areas right with the sum of our partial areas and it's actually very simple you know the reason why we like using excel is because it makes them a lot of the work easier for us so the command is what sum so we have sum if you know the columns so if you know the cells you can type them or you just drag them down right good so we have what cell d3 to cell d6 so it will give us the sum of the values of those cells right so let's come down to this point equal to sum again you know and then we have um, these cells drag down to the cells and then we have enter so we now have our two partial areas and you know um for you to now get the area of your parcel or the area of the plot or area of different subdivisions or definitely maybe you have you are doing them um, you carrying out a um, subdivision survey and then you have different plots and you have your coordinates you would not want to start um, doing the the calculations manually and you would have to represent these values in your maybe in your report or something you know autocad can just list out the coordinates for you and then also give you the area but autocad might not be able to give you these partial areas like this so if you want to list them out like this for your report maybe 
in your project or maybe school assignment or whatever the case is it's sometimes better you just um, follow it through like this right so now the next thing is for us to find the sum sorry the difference between these two values and divide them by two that will now give us the area because you know it will now be a1 minus a2 divided by 2 now on our formula i'm going to use absolute the reason why i'll use absolute is that by merely looking at these two values i don't know which one is bigger or which one is smaller so if i subtract this from this and it wants to give me a negative answer the absolute will turn it to a positive answer because we don't need we don't need a what a negative area right so it's actually something that um, you should just pay attention to so you want to do two minus one it will give you one right but when you do one minus two you have minus one however the sign does not really matter in this context right good the sign does not matter so for us not to have negative signs to start maybe bothering about changing it to positive from then let's change it to positive from the beginning right good. so we have absolute in a bracket then we see what this cell um minus this cell then we put them in a bracket right good then divided by two we need enter good so this now represents what the area of the plot covered by these four points right good i think i have the area copied somewhere good so if we should make or take this to three decimal places good perfect you now see that it's actually equal to this we can still check it by saying equal to this cell minus this cell let's see what we got we got 0, 0.00 so this is the area copied from um, the previous method and then this is the area we just got and by method of check we have been able to deduce that it's equal to zero so you can use the manual method which we have on the video to check and see if this um, answer is um, correct right so now how do you move this to your report it's very simple you know you just copy everything and let's say you highlight everything like this now another thing is that you know you might want to have these values you might want to have these values um, represented differently so if you come down to format cells let's um, go to numbers let's come down to numbers good now you can see how these numbers are formatted let's say we come down to this okay let's keep it at two decimal places okay you now see the values have been um the values are well displayed right good so you know basically on your reports you would not want to have it as exponential so let me just um, highlight all of these cells that will contain these numbers. We come down to format cells so that we can have them very well. Go down to numbers, then let's say we want it in three decimal places. We click on OK. So you can see the numbers now, they are well represented or they are fully displayed. They are fully displayed, right? So the numbers are fully displayed. You can now copy them as they are. Just um, highlight them, you know, Control C, right? Good. C, copy them as they are then you move them to your word processing package maybe word or whatever good so maybe you are working on them um, no test sorry uh, microsoft word and you've actually copied it somewhere there so you can come down here then you paste it like this right good so you now see that you've pasted it as what a table pasted it as a table so as a table is you can decide to modify the contents of the table according to how you want it so maybe you can have what your partial area maybe you can have your area written here and then you can decide to keep the the lines you know come down to your table tools you know design it and you know keep it the way you want it to be you know basically it's there for you to have um, done it on excel and then copy it directly to your word processing package and then do a few edits and you are good to go because it saves you the stress of typing them manually you know prone to making errors and you know having to design your tables and some other stuff so just copy and paste and then you are good to go so yeah thanks for coming to class and we hope that we've um, provided solution to this particular solving problem we are going to see you on our next video until then keep staying safe and have a very good